Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to crack passwords of WordPress website. So in order to find the password, first we'll try to find out the vulnerable plugins present in that website. So we'll scan the website and try to find out the vulnerable plugins. So using those uh, plugins, we'll try to find out the list of users. And after that, we'll try the brute force method to find out the credentials of those users. So in order to perform this exercise, I have uh, downloaded and installed the Bitnami WordPress virtual machine. So I'll be providing the link to download that in the description of this video. So let's get started. So this is the virtual machine which I have downloaded and installed. So you can download the virtual machine for, from here. And after scrolling down, so we can see default application login, the username is user and the password is, uh, it is generated uh, at the time of installation. So I have already installed this virtual machine, so I'll just show it to you. So this is, uh, virtual, this is the virtual machine which I have installed and you can see the default username and password is uh, the username is user and uh, this is the password to perform the uh, this exercise i have changed this uh, default password so while installing this uh, virtual machine you need to uh, take care of one thing that is the network adapter of the kali linux and this virtual machine should be same that is uh, it should be either uh, breathe or NAT. I would recommend you to keep it as NAT. So once the configuration is uh, done, so we'll start the demonstration. So I'll just show the uh, website which is provided by that uh, virtual machine. So this is the uh, website which is provided by that virtual machine. It is a blog site and we'll try to find out the username and password of this website so you can see a login button over here so i'll just click it we'll open up a terminal and i'll give wp scan so we'll be using a wp scan tool for this exercise and we'll just see what are all the options present in that tool so you can see uh, all these options present so out of which we'll be using this uh, hyphen E enumerate and we'll be trying to enumerate the vulnerable plugins, uh, all plugins. And uh, this, these are all the options available and we can find out the usernames uh, present in the system. Then uh, this hyphen capital P and hyphen capital U. So these options are used to pass the list of Usernames and password for brute force attack. So let's scan the website. So in order to scan the website, I will use hyphen hyphen URL parameter and pass the URL of the our blog site. So which is 192.168.10.138 and press enter. So you can see the scan is completed. So I'll just scroll up and from here you can see that it has uh, listed out some of the headers. So we can see uh, robots.txt file uh, is found out at this URL. So in some cases, uh, some important data can be present in that robots.txt file. So I'll just open up this file. So Nothing important we can see over here, so I'll just close it up and go to terminal once again. And we'll just scroll down. So these two plugins are the vulnerable plugins which are identified and nothing else. So we can ignore these messages. So now let's find out uh, all the users present uh, in the website. So for that, I'll give, I'll pass the URL parameter. Then after that, we need to enumerate and we need to find out the username. So I'll give uh, hyphen E and then U and press enter. So 
tell the scroller. So we have successfully found out the usernames of this system, which is user and user2. So in order to find out the credentials of those two users, we will need to uh, list. First one will be username list and the second one will be password list. So in usernames list, we will pass the user1 and user2. And in password list, we will uh, pass the commonly used passwords by user. So let's first uh, create the file. So I'll just move to my desktop and I'll create a user.txt file. And over here, I'll do user, user2. Then press enter and press. Enter. So our user file is ready and the commonly used password file is already present in our Kali. So, so now let's uh, find out the credentials of those two users. So I'll give the URL of our WordPress website. Then we need to pass the hyphen u parameter and over here we need to pass the path of our usernames file so which is slash root slash desktop slash user.txt and then one more parameter we need to pass which is the path of our password file so in our case which is user slash share slash word list slash rockyou.txt and I will press enter So we can see uh, valid combinations found. So username is user and the password is password. And for user2 also, the username is user2 and the password is password. So using these credentials, I'll try to log in into this system. And so we have successfully logged in into the WordPress website. And in the upcoming videos, I'll be demonstrating uh, what we can do after uh, logging into the WordPress website. So there are a lot of things which we can do. So we can create a backdoor. So first we'll upload some malicious code into the system. And using that file, uh, we can create a backdoor which will give us a reverse shell on this uh, website. So this is the post exploitation method. So there are a lot of things which we can do with uh, logging into the system. So thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos too.